Hey guys, I am out in the garden, so I'm doing a garden update. And I always think, of, should I do a separate channel for gardening? But I don't do videos that often to do that. So I figured it could bless you if you're into gardening anyway. Behind me, I have soil, I have dirt, I have mulch that is dark mulch i love it it's so hard to find my husband was able to find it for, for me um he searched high and low and he was able to get this mulch and i love it it's beautiful it's aesthetically pleasing i like the dirt look of it the clean look of it and so i've been putting them in my garden beds when i first started it was stacked that dirt was the mulch was this high so i have been working really hard and I kind of want to show you what I'm doing step by step so you can kind of see the garden progress as we go through the season because it's amazing to see how in the beginning it looks rough you know real gardens look rough in the beginning you've got to do a lot of weed a lot of maintenance and then you get to start beautifying and just to see the transition throughout spring is beautiful and I wanted to just take you all with me from start to the finish of the season so I am about to Fill this wheelbarrow with some of this mulch so you can watch me work. I have three boys, um, but one of them just finished up a game, so I'm letting him rest. You know, he's been tired, he's been going all through the week. And then my oldest son is actually working on a farm, you all, so he could be helping me, right? But I know he wants to make the money. You know how teenagers are. They need that extra cash. So, hey, I'm not going to get in between him and that. So, plus, he helps me a lot around the garden. So, I understand he needs to, you know, go help somebody else. So, yeah. I've been doing this day well i had a game this morning i went to go see my son play his first game and then i came and i started i went to the nursery to look for some flowers and then i came back and started working in the garden how about you what you've been doing today this beautiful saturday i'm so glad the temperatures are warming up finally So my wheelbarrow is full, and we're going to go and fill in some garden beds. So let's see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna try to hold this and multitask, and then I'll take you for a little tour maybe of the garden or as we go. These are my hydrangeas. I've got to fill them. You can't even see them because <laughs> the camera's too high. But you will when I put the tripod down. I'll let you take a look at what I'm doing. All right, so let's just sit you right there. Huh. Y'all, this is definitely a workout, right? <laughs> Who needs to do Pilates when you can do garden work? This is how I stay in shape. So I'm just going through filling the, the, the bare spots with mulch, and then I'll go and I'll take like a rake and I'll take my hands and I'll cover it evenly. But I'll probably go back to the nursery later on the day to get some stones to line the beds with just to make it look aesthetically pretty. But that may be a project for another day because mama is getting tired. All right, so let me just stop and just show you around a little bit of this area. So right here in this pot, I'm growing corn actually. And the green bushes that are lining uh, this area are called hydrangeas. They are limelights. I love limelights. If someone wanted to know my favorite um, flower, that is her, hydrangeas. And so I have them all over the garden because they're just so pretty. And um, So this whole entire area, let me see if I can show you without, yeah, is lined with hydrangeas. And then over there, can you see? Yeah, the garden beds and i've got to fill those that uh rock bed garden with mulch as well and the rose garden that is back that way so yeah i'll show you a little bit of that in just a little bit 
but let's keep going so now i'm gonna take the wheelbarrow me and my hearty wheelbarrow we're going to the beautiful japanese maple my blood good tree she's beautiful and she's doing really good already blooming looking beautiful so i'll put that right there and hope that the tripod doesn't fall stay still and then Part, it should cover it. There we go. And I'll come back and fill that in. I'll probably put some stones around it just to make it look pretty. But yeah, can you see the mulch? Yeah, wait. There you go. So right here are my oak leaf hydrangeas. Let's see if I can do a better job of filming. And they're just now starting to bloom. They're really pretty. They're like a ruby pink, ruby red, but they're beautiful and they'll fill in this whole area right here. And over here, we have my beautiful hydrangeas, which I love. Now these I bought from the nursery today, so they're in full bloom. But these are perennials and they come back every year. And that's what I have this bed lined with hydrangeas and hostas. And they will, the hostas will be really big and pretty and it'll complement the big limelight hydrangeas. So once these start blooming, it'll look really beautiful. And I love to go with a purple and white theme. I've been doing that for the past two years. So I'll go and fill this in with little white lilacs or not lilacs what do you call them salvadors and so it'll all come together and look gorgeous in the end and right over there is my japanese maple it's a baby one very young tree but she's doing really good because she has actually with uh endured some storms lately we had a tornado in alabama in our area last week um, thank God we didn't have a, any damage at all, but downtown Helena got a lot of trees now, but no lives lost. So that's a blessing. But yeah, she's really been holding her own. Thank God. All right. So follow me and I'll show you a little bit more. I've got to do a lot of weed picking too. So, you know, don't judge too early. Cause like I said, we are in the maintenance part of just getting everything together but those two are hydrangeas i have to get that garden bed cleaned up that is probably another project <laughs> for another day and also if you like hydrangeas but you don't have any place to put them in the ground maybe you don't want to put them in the ground right here i have mines in a pot and i've had them in a pot for a year now and they came back beautifully so you know pot it if you don't want to put it in the ground you're not sure if you're going to really like it you can always um Put it in a pot just make sure your pot is big enough and right here more hydrangeas told y'all hydrangeas are my favorite limelight specifically hostas growing and i haven't decided i know i need to put a few more hostas in here and i don't know what i'm going to layer it with what i'm going to underplant so i'm still deciding so we'll see what that'll look like let's go over here so I've got to fill this in right here. Usually I do lavender because it smells so good. I put lavender all the way through here, but the big lavender catnip plants aren't out yet. So I'm still waiting for those. And so this will be purple and white and I'll underplant it with things. So it'll be really pretty. I'm not gonna even go over there, but yeah, that's the rose garden over there. I've got to do a lot of work. I've got some Susan, um, 
what do you call it? Uh, gosh, black eyed Susans and my sunflowers over there. So that'll be a really pretty yellow, black, bright, bright area um, once everything starts growing. And so of course, we have the vegetables that we planted the other week and everything's doing good. Kale's coming up and the collard greens. I need to water these vegetables. Um, I've got the cabbage coming up. Let's see, red leaf lettuce, um, kale right here, red peppers, tomatoes, arugula, eggplants. And in between, I have like zinnias because I like to do flowers and vegetables because the flowers help to attract the bees and pollinators, which help your vegetables. So, and also it looks beautiful when it's all said and done. So, I really hope that when I was filming that you got something, okay? And that my camera wasn't like upside down. <laughs> but you all have a great day. I just wanted to give you a garden update and let you know how everything's coming along. Um, Saturdays are my only time to really get in the garden. Look, y'all. Look at the geese. Oh, my gosh. Aren't they so pretty? Can't you see them? I love it. Yeah, so this is my only time to really get in the garden. So uh, if I do two or, you know, videos, it's just because I have more time on the weekend. So anyways, <laughs> that's the, that was nice. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.